First challenge, this one is a level eight. We're doing it in JavaScript and it's called Name on Billboard. Um, as always, try the challenge out before watching the video. I've got a link to it in the show notes. Um, and if you're not subscribed, please do so. That keeps you up to date every time I post a new one. Uh, so with that, let's check this out. Uh, so you can print your name on a billboard ad, find out how much it will cost you. Each character has a default price of 30 bucks or, or 30 pounds sterling. Uh, but that can be different if you're given two parameters instead of one. Um, so you cannot use the multiplier operator. Uh, if your name would be uh, Zhang Ho Arist Aristoteles, the ad would cost uh, 600, uh, 600 bucks. 20 letters times 30 uh, equals 600. Uh, counts as a character. Uh, oh, the space counts as a character. Okay, cool. So the length of the name, okay, uh, time, normally it'd be length of the name um, uh, times the price here, but for some reason they don't want me to do the multiplier. Um, so what we could do is... Um, I guess I could take this string, uh, turn it into, uh, let's just see if it, uh, gets mad at me for multiplying. So, uh, let's just return a uh, name dot length, uh, times 30 or, or times price. Uh, now if we have a multiplier in there, uh, imagine there'd be a test in there for, uh, seeing if that is the case. I don't know why they said you can't uh, use the multiplier um, uh, when clearly I am here. So whatever, it's good enough for jazz. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, you are not allowed to use the multiplier operator uh, instead. Okay, so what we need to do then is if we can't do that, uh, we could do, uh, We'll just do a for loop here. So let's say, uh, let's uh, let total equals zero. And then at some point we're gonna return the total. Okay, so let's just for loop on the string here. Um, so with a string, uh, when you're for looping a string, I think, uh, I can't remember if it's of or, or in here. So that's what I'm researching here. Um, uh, loop through a string, code craft. Okay, alert string length. Uh, okay, so they're doing the var let i. Uh, let's do uh, for let i in string. Uh, that's another way to kind of do that here. Uh, or you could do uh, for let char of, uh, and then you get each character here. Okay, cool. So it really doesn't matter for us uh, what we're doing here. I'm going to do the uh, char of, okay? Um, so let's, in my for loop here, let's go uh, for uh, const I do const because we're not reassigning this. And really, we don't care what this variable name is, so I'm just going to underscore here. So const blank of uh, name. And so here we'll uh, let the total plus equal uh, the price. Okay. So we're just, this is your incrementer. Uh, we're going to increment it however many times we have characters here. Uh, so if you can't do a, a multiply, you can definitely do a plus. All right, so that's working, and there it is. Nice job, y'all.